How's it going, everybody? This is Doom Kid, just with a tutorial today on how to create a custom end Doom screen. This is that red screen with yellow text that shows up after you quit Doom. Uh, you can actually change this pretty easily using a program called WDC. I'll have a link to downloading WDC in the description. It's mainly used for modding Wolfenstein 3D, but it'll also work perfectly for modding Doom and creating an end Doom screen. So once you've installed WDC, uh, do a full install, but the only tool you'll actually need is the WDC end screen editor here. This is just in the actual folder for WDC and program files. So when I run this, it brings me to this screen. And now here, I can do some simple tweaks. You can select entire chunks by dragging and dropping and changing the background color. And you can also change the foreground color. Let's say I want golden text on a blue background. I'll select gold, so this whole area will now have gold text. And then when I begin typing, you can see there that I've got my correct colors. And so you can have uh, whatever color text you want on whatever color background. You can use this to create art as well. So for example, if I wanted to, I don't have any real artistic abilities with this, but I'll just create a little demonstration smiley face here. So I can make these blue eyes, but then if I want a little bit of shading, I don't just want it to go from blue to bright blue, you know, so starkly. They have these little shaders here, and it goes from slightly shaded to mostly shaded to almost entirely shaded. And so I can put a light shading of blue, and then an even more intense shade by clicking this here. So you see I've got background dark blue, foreground light blue, and then on this one, it's almost entirely filled in and then I can just go to a solid bright blue and you'll see that gradient there and you can use that to create all kinds of artistic effects you could create um, you know an ocean um, anyway the point is you can do all kinds of, of cool things with this you can create all kinds of artwork and stuff it's very easy to to understand there we go We've got an island with like a weird oak tree not a palm tree Oh well, I'm bucking the trend. So you'll just set that. I don't want anything there, so I'll just set it all to black. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that you can't have this bottom two need to be completely black and free of any text characters. So you can select a whole area and put whatever character you want in there, but you gotta leave the bottom two empty because if you fill it all the way up to the bottom, you won't be able to type on if you're actually running it in DOS. It takes over the area where you type to then like escape the game and stuff. So you want to leave these bottom two bars totally blank. And it's a good idea to leave the bars along the side, the top two and the side two blank as well. Just for a consistency and the way you have a nice little border to create your artwork in. Anyway, now that we've created our absurd little image that is, uh, you know, a load of bull crap. But if you actually put time and effort in, you can make something great. So we'll save this. I'll just save it to my desktop as Endoom. And then I can go ahead and close that. And I, in Slade, you'll have your WAD or whatever that you're importing it into here. You go to uh, Import Files, click Endoom, and then bam, it shows up. And you can see... There's our little art piece we just created, imported as an Endoom screen in the WAD. So now if we save this WAD and uh, load it, you know, in a port or in Vanilla Doom or whatever, it should show us this whenever we uh, quit the game. So this is a really fun little way to give your map set a little bit more character. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.